Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. One of the common criticisms that you'll hear from non-vegans is that plant protein is inferior to animal protein for building muscle and strength. And you have all these ex-vegan testimonials complaining about loss of strength, loss of muscle, uh, loss of performance, etc. that are all being used, at least in part, to bolster this very misinformed notion. A notion that you would think would have been laid to rest after the release of a large meta-analysis from back in March of 2018, which examined 49 different studies with a total sample size of 1,863 participants and found that protein source did not seem to matter when it came to resistance training-induced gains in muscle mass and strength. Instead, the amount of protein consumed per day was most important, or more specifically, 1.62 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. And that paper examined the effects of whey, casein, soy, pea, milk, beef, yogurt, as well as different protein blends. Nonetheless, the idea of plant protein inferiority remains ever strong, which shows that there are a lot of science-denying bastards out there. But anecdote, though. But vegan bodybuilding hoax, though. Well, another paper published on January 4th, 2019, kicks that idea in the balls once again. Let's review the results, shall we? This paper had a sample size of 15 male and female CrossFitters and lasted eight weeks with four training sessions per week. Before and after each training session, as well as in between meals on rest days, participants were given 24 grams of either whey or pea protein. The whey group consisted of eight people and the pea group consisted of seven. And the study authors received zero external funding with no conflicts of interest to report. The study findings suggest that whey and pea proteins promote similar strength performance, body composition, and muscular adaptations following eight weeks of training. Granted, this paper did feature a small sample size, but that 2018 paper I cited previously was quite large, and the findings are consistent between the two papers. In this latest paper, deadlift 1 rep max is improved by about 5% in the whey group and about 4% in the pea group. Squat 1 rep max is improved by about 4% in the whey group and about 6% in the pea group. Body fat percentage dropped by about 0.5% in the whey group and about 3% in the pea group. So, once again, we see that plant protein can build your body just as well as animal protein when put to the fucking test. But will anyone listen this time? Uh, if history is any indicator, then I am seriously doubtful. People seem to prefer to keep their biases intact and remain willfully ignorant. Or maybe they just don't want to uh, admit that they were wrong. Anyhow. In case anyone was wondering, the protein used in that study was purchased from True Nutrition. This actually caught my eye because True Nutrition is precisely where I purchase my protein and have done since 2012. But as I said earlier, uh, there was no external funding, ergo, True Nutrition did not fund this paper in any manner. But on that note, if you head over to True Nutrition, which I have linked below in the description, they have an awesome custom protein blend generator. I personally use a custom blend of 65% pea protein, 15% hemp protein, 15% pumpkin protein, and 5% alfalfa greens protein from True Nutrition. And if you use my affiliate code VEGNUT5 at checkout, you will receive at least 5% off of your order uh, while supporting me and this channel in the process. And they've recently introduced four new non-GMO natural flavors, Cinnamon Toast Swirl, Frosted Carrot Cake, Horchata, and Raspberry Streusel. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful or interesting. In fact, I urge you to share it, especially when someone doubts the efficacy of plant proteins. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not already and press the bell button for notifications and check back here weekly as all three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss any new content from me.
and check out the video description for links to my products and services as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. With that, I want to thank you all for your continued support. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.